Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can install the Whitestone camera lens protector for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G. So this is the lens cover that you get in this pack here when you purchase this uh, Whitestone Dome Glass um, camera protector. You get two packs inside this uh, box. You only need one. If one of them is damaged later on, you can use a second one to replace it. Now also inside this box, you also get the dust remover stickers, the alcohol wipe, uh, dry cleaning cloth. So let's see how you can uh, install onto the camera lens. So first we're going to remove the case on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. All right, I'm going to remove the case out of the way. And then we're going to need to clean up the camera modules right here. Okay, so I'm going to give it a good clean. So I'm going to use this alcohol wipe. Then we give it a good clean. So give it a good clean to remove all the dust and debris. Uh, sticking around the camera lens. After that, we're going to use a dry cloth. Now again, there are two packs in here, so we just need one. Look like there's only one piece in here, so that's fine. I'm just going to use this and dry it up. And after we have dry up the camera module, we're going to use the dust removal uh, sticker. Alright, so that looks pretty clean. Now we're going to use this dust remover sticker. And then we're just going to try to stick around the camera module compartment. Alright, so now I'm going to place it down this way. And we only need one of this um, camera lens protector. So I'm just going to peel off the sticker right here. Now this is a double-sided tape, so we're just going to peel this one off. Just gently, don't go too hard because you might peel, peel off uh, the tape from the other side. So just gently uh, peel it off like this. So just gently peel it off. We don't want to remove the tape that is sticking down to the protector. Alright, so that is removed. Now we're just going to place it on top of the camera lens right here. Alright, so here we go. It's a fairly um, quite easy to, uh, to install because they basically just lock on top of the camera lens. So you just put it on top of the camera lens like that. And then give it a hard squeeze down. So push it down so that it sticks onto the surface. So just kind of like press and hold it for a few seconds. Just um, allow the glue or the tape uh, attach itself to your frame, to the housing. All right, so this is what it looks like where we're looking on the side right here. Now I can see there is a tiny, tiny gap. Um, there is a tiny gap around here. It is very tiny, not very uh, noticeable. I go to the side now again there is a, a tiny gap right there all right so it's sitting on onto the lens over here now the lens protector stick down quite nicely I can't actually pull it out uh, it's quite strong sticking to the frame as you can show, I'm trying to use some force to pull it out here. It's not coming off. So that is a good thing. Now if I zoom out, let's uh, see what happens when we put a case on. Does it sit well within the case or not? Okay, so you can see here, um, the camera lens protector actually sits inside the case uh, cutout. So look like uh, you should have no problem. Uh, with um, using the camera protector 
with a case so the cutout is quite nice it fit in perfectly there's no issues there and this is what it looks like on on the clear case on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra now you may notice there is a, a hole on the camera lens and there is a hole on the on the flashlight now this can help to um, uh, stop the picture when you're taking a picture if your phone uses the flashlight sometimes that uh, can cause the picture to become blurry if it is uh, fully covered uh, with um, uh, glasses so because of the cutout the light will go through and will not um, affect your picture at all so let's test out um, uh, taking a photo on here so I'm just going to try to take a few photos now all right so I'm going to turn on the flashlight and take a photo and you can see that this photo come out is nice and clear got all the details it does not affect the photo at all does not affect the camera at all so again this is what it looks like and so i'm just going to put on the timer for two seconds so but and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos